Hey guys, Firm here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do weird barrel rolls in Asphalt 8. Not really. Today I'm going to be testing the 2015 Mustang GT in multiplayer in Asphalt 8. This is the car that I have never tested in this game. And this is the first Asphalt 8 multiplayer video I have made since the one about the Zeus 12 Sigma. And in this video, I'm going to be focusing mostly not on the races themselves, except for times like this, where I take the barrel perfectly and land on this guy who's going faster and therefore have a much better chance of being him. But overall, I'll be focusing more on just talking about what is happening to Asphalt 8 just overall and on my channel. This is just going to be a me giving my thoughts sort of video, probably going to be more serious. So yeah, just so you guys know what is in store. So if we're going to talk about how Asphalt 8 is now, we're going to have to go back to the beginning and talk about how it was earlier. So when Asphalt 8 first came out in November of 2013, I think it was, I played the game for a little while on on my dad's old iPad and I got to season eight, I think, but I didn't really have much done in there. I had just gotten the Ferrari FXX Evolution or something like that when I decided to switch to Windows about three years ago and start playing in a less casual and more intentional manner. So it would have been early 2016 when I really started getting into this game. And I never became addicted to it like some people, but I did extremely enjoy it. I would play it so much and it was just a game that I thoroughly enjoyed everything in. I I did not particularly enjoy farming, but I did not start farming until I had gotten quite far into the game and wanted to start going for special event cards. I still remember the first one I won was the 4C in its R&D. Now, that was a pretty easy R&D, but I do know it was quite an accomplishment for me. And so after that time, I began trying to just build up as much stuff as I could and learn as much as I could about the game it was basically my sustenance almost in terms of gaming anyway for a quite long time. And then when I started making Asphalt 8 videos, I saw that they were getting like 10 times the views as my Minecraft ones. So then I switched mainly to making Asphalt 8 videos. And you guys who have been around on my channel for a couple years will probably remember the time when I was basically doing all Asphalt 8 videos like three or four times a week. And it was during that time that things like the Purple Team Google Plus community and Purple Team Discord were born. So many things on my YouTube channel and related to it came out of Asphalt 8, more so than any other game that I played on it. And I cannot forget that Asphalt 8 was also the reason that I joined RPM and the Asphalt Influencer Program. Just so many things from Asphalt 8 in particular. So I can say very confidently that Asphalt 8 is the game that helped my channel grow to where it is today. Without it, I would not be at this point. So because of that, and because of all the special memories that I have in the game, taking selfies in my streams and things like that, all the friends that I made like Dr. Hulusia and Eris Cheese God early on in my Asphalt 8 career, all this stuff make Asphalt 8 a very special game to me. And if anybody ever tells you that I hate Asphalt 8 because I don't play it much anymore, that's not the case. It will always hold a very special place in my heart. Throughout my time playing Asphalt 8, I've seen Multiplayer 2.0 come out, I've seen the Vulcan come to be the new king, I've seen the Apollo come to be the new king, and then I got to to see it dethroned by the X2 just a couple updates later. And after that is when things started going downhill. In August of 2016, Gameloft released the fifth anniversary update to Asphalt 8. And this update in and of itself was perfectly fine. We got cars like the 750S, which came in a world tour, and I remember streaming that live to Asphalt's Facebook, which was pretty cool. But what came out of that update was the first real problem that came to Asphalt 8, in my opinion. Now, other people will say that Asphalt 8 started dying earlier. Some people have even said as early as like 2016. But around this point was the point where I started to see it. A multiplayer season was released, which matchmaked people, I don't even know if that's a word, uh, which matched people based on their speed only. Nothing else about the cars, just the speed. Not the rank, no other stats. This threw a gigantic monkey wrench into everything that we knew about Asphalt 8, because it meant that previously good multiplayer tunes, which were based on achieving the highest speed at the lowest rank, were no longer good, because now, since cars were based on speed, cars were better that had better acceleration for the same speed. 
and so people didn't know whether to tune their cars differently because the current multiplayer tuned cars were not very good anymore, or to wait and see if it would be changed. I made an entire video explaining the problems with this multiplayer system. You guys will probably remember I was pretty riled up about that. Well, let me just give a few reasons now of why that system was no good and why I made that petition in order to remove it. So basically, it made all of people's work for all of the previously good multiplayer cars pretty much completely worthless. The Audi R8 e-tron special edition was now no better than a Ferrari FXX. Low-ranked SLKs would now meet maxed out ones because it was based on speed and then they would always lose, even though they used to be extremely good cards for lower ranks and very much skill needed in order to win. Essentially, it removed any advantage that veteran players had of obtaining and working hard for all these great cars over the years and made it so any noob could just come in and win in a servo, which not only caused many veterans of the game to stop playing asphalt 8 during this time, it also would have made many new players to the game not even bother going for many new cars, since they could now win in virtually any car with decent acceleration and keep winning even at higher leagues, which didn't make any sense at all. So basically, this multiplayer season caused a lot of people to just quit playing or not play as much, and that, in my opinion, is when the game really started dying. Thankfully, after a torturous three weeks of this multiplayer season, and Gameloft finally removed it and said that they had just been testing, even though previously they had expressed no intention of removing the system. So with that crisis averted, I continued playing Asphalt 8 in the way that I had before, trying to get all the new cars and stuff, and then the Halloween update came out, and it only added like three new cars, which was the first time that that had happened, I don't even know since for a very long time anyway, and so that was a bit of a bummer, but nothing really bad happened that update in the next one. And in fact, around Christmas that year came one of my favorite things to be added to Asphalt 8 in general, the Transylvania track, which honestly I think is my favorite track in Asphalt 8, and that is definitely one of the best things to happen to Asphalt 8 in the past, like, year. However, it was also in that Transylvania update that cars like the Centenario came out, with crazy token upgrades and also no free upgrades in the R&D. And I predicted in one of my Centenario videos that with the current direction the game was taking, it would die in 2019. In the next update, Asphalt 8 caught the flu, by which I mean the fast lane update. This was the update that changed the upgrade rank percentages and the ranks in general for all A-class cars as well as some B and S-class ones. This was also the update where they made mastery races unreplayable, and also that's when they made the pro kit requirements like double what they were before. And I saw this as the beginning of the end, so I quickly promoted a petition to revert the changes in this update. It was received with an overwhelmingly positive response, garnering well over 3,000 signatures, which made this by far the most signed petition in Asphalt 8 history. And nothing happened. They just continued down the road of the very things that pretty much 95% of the asphalt population said, don't do this, revert. And after I saw that Gameloft had started down this path and were not about to stop it, that is when I just, I just basically gave up on the game because this was how it was going to be and there was absolutely nothing that I or anybody else could do to stop it at this point. And since then, in the past two updates, they've changed every single car's upgrade rank percentages in the entire game and basically killed multiplayer tuning everywhere. Granted, this is not quite as bad as simply speed-based multiplayer matchmaking, but it's pretty darn close. You guys know that ever since I began playing Asphalt 8, multiplayer has always been the core of my racing videos. And when multiplayer in a game gets this sort of treatment over and over again, what am I supposed to do? I have no reason or want even to continue playing it. Yes, showdown mode is great. I very much enjoy it, and I made a video about it, explaining it, and I had a lot of fun during that time. The only real fun I've had in Asphalt 8 for months at this point. But with multiplayer now basically being the ruins of what it once was, and with showdown not having any plans to come to multiplayer, 
I don't really have a big desire to stay with the game. I'm gonna be completely honest here. The fast lane update basically deflated any desire that I had to continue playing Asphalt 8 regularly. That is what it was. For a while, I tried not to let it show, but since it's come to fruition at this point, I may as well just say it. So at this point, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do, because I really do not care to play this game much anymore. But I also know that you guys still a lot quite enjoy it so I think I'm for now just going to continue doing what I'm doing making videos of all the update videos and who knows maybe occasionally I'll drop in a video such as this one testing some older car or something like that but Asphalt 9 and Forza will still be the priority because frankly I enjoy them a lot more than Asphalt 8 right now so thank you all for watching and understanding please like the video if you've enjoyed and comment if you have any questions consider subscribing for more Asphalt and Forza content and I will see you in my next video Goodbye.